Dear students, welcome to the problem solving session on Cauchy Residue Theorem. In this session, we are going to evaluate some problems involving whole of order M. In the previous videos, we solved few problems on Cauchy Residue Theorem in the case of simple poles. Let us go into the session. Evaluate integral over C, Z square divided by Z minus 1 whole square into Z plus 1 dz, where C is the circle here. Two regions are given to us. The first region is mod z equal to 2 and the second region is mod z equal to 1 by 2. We are going to evaluate 1 by 1. As usual, step 1, let us consider the first region mod z equal to 2 and we know that this is a circle with center 0, 0 and radius 2. Let us imagine the diagram and we can draw for the exam point of view. Since the radius is 2 and the center is 0, 0, we can plot few points like 2, 0, 0, 2, minus 2, comma 0 and 0, comma minus 2. The shaded region is the circle mod z equal to 2. Now, simply mention few points which is needed for the problem. Step 2. Poles. To find the poles, take the denominator of the given problem and equate it to 0. That is, z minus 1 whole square into z plus 1 is equal to 0. Solving this, we get z minus 1 whole square equal to 0 and z plus 1 equal to 0. So we get z equal to 1 2 times and z equal to minus 1. Therefore, we have two values. One is repeated twice and we have z equal to minus 1. Now, z equal to 1, the power of z minus 1 is 2, so it can't be a simple pole. z equal to 1 repeated twice, so it is a pole of order 2. Whenever I say z equal to 1, we can immediately write this as 1 comma 0. I already say how to do this, z is x plus i y and I can write this as 1 plus i 0. So now mapping the real and imaginary part, we get x y that is 1 comma 0. Since this point is 2 comma 0, my 1 comma 0 lies inside the circle. So z equal to 1 is a pole of order 2 lies inside C. Next z equal to minus 1. We can see that z plus 1 power is 1. So z equal to minus 1 is a simple pole and we can find the points easily that is x comma y is minus 1 comma 0. Minus 1 comma 0 is also lies inside the circle. So we say z equal to minus 1 is a simple pole lies inside C. So now we found both the poles. Next we have to write the key points. Always take the given content as my f of z. Then the given region is mod z equal to 2 and the poles are z equal to 1 that is repeated twice and z equal to minus 1. Since both the poles lies inside, according to Cauchy residue theorem, integral over c f of z d z is equal to 2 pi i into sum of the residues. Here both 1 and minus 1 lies inside. So we have to find r of 1 as well as r of minus 1. Next step 4. Since we have simple pole as well as pole of order m, here that is pole of order 2, so m equal to 2, we will write both the required formulas for finding the residues. So this is for the case of simple pole and for pole of order m, that is m greater than 1, r of a is nothing but 1 by m minus 1 factorial limit z tends to a d power m minus 1 divided by dz power m minus 1, z minus a whole power m into f of z. Now let us find the residues one by one. First we take the simple pole. Since z equal to minus 1 is a simple pole lies inside c, we can write the formula. So r of minus 1 is limit z tends to minus 1, z minus of minus 1 into f of z. And we know f of z from the Step 3, I can rewrite this as z plus 1. Now, cancelling this z plus 1, we get limit z tends to minus 1, z square divided by z minus 1 whole square. When you substitute the limit, minus 1 whole square, minus 1 minus 1 whole square. So, it is going to be 1 by 4. So, r of minus 1 is 1 by 4. Next, we are going to find the residue of 1. z equal to 1 is a whole of order 2 that lies inside C. So, first write the corresponding formulae here 
m equal to 2 therefore r of 1 is 1 by 2 minus 1 factorial limit z tends to 1 d by d z because m is 2 2 minus 1 is 1 z minus 1 whole square into f of z when you substitute the f of z we can easily cancel this now it is very important first we have to complete this we have to do the differentiation then only we can apply the limit now I have to differentiate z square divided by z plus 1. We have to use u by v rule. That is p du minus u dv divided by v square. The limit z tends to 1. We can see the denominator is z plus 1 whole square and p du that is z plus 1. When I differentiate z square, we get 2z minus, we keep z square now and differentiation of z plus 1 is simply 1. Now, you don't need to simplify, just apply the limit. When you apply the limit z tends to 1, we get 1 plus 1, 2 into 1, minus 1 square divided by 1 plus 1 whole square. So now, we get 4 minus 1 by 4, that is 3 by 4. Therefore, r of 1 is 3 by 4. Next final step, we have to substitute this residues in the Cauchy residue theorem. That is my step 5. By Cauchy residue theorem, we know integral over c f of z dz is equal to 2 pi i into sum of residues. Here we have two residues that is r of 1 and r of minus 1. At first we found r of minus 1 that is 1 by 4 and just now we found r of 1 is 3 by 4. So it is going to be 2 pi i into 1. Therefore integral over c z square divided by z minus 1 whole square into z plus 1 dz is 2 pi i. Hope you understand. Next, for the same problem, we have to evaluate for the different region. Mod is equal to 1 by 2. Obviously, this is the circle with center 0, 0. Radius is 0 0.5 or 1 by 2. Now, we know the poles. Just now, we found in the beginning of the problem. 1 is repeating twice and minus 1 is unique. But my radius is 0 0.5. So, both z equal to 1 and minus 1 lies outside C. None of the poles lies inside C. That means there is no poles for this region mod z equal to 1 by 2. Therefore, my function is fully analytic. It is an entire function. So, now we have to use Cauchy integral theorem. If the function is analytic everywhere, there is no singular point, then integral over C f of z dz is 0. Therefore, the solution for the second region is 0. Hope you got the point. Thanks for watching. Hope you found this video helpful. Subscribe to our channel and share it to your friends. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.